It starts with me. With grace and pride, we rise each day, awaken with the strength to uplift our communities in unison and in unity. When we repair the cracks in the concrete, we'll have a more stable path to walk on, a more stable foundation to stand on because the bedrock of our communities is what we need to build up in order to rise up and raise up. It is past time for all of us to not only take a stand, but to firmly place our feet in the sand and stand up. Give our confessions by our tongues and send our blessings up. When we're able to listen, we will be heard because as we rebuild our communities, we rebuild nations. Replace the common dichotomies with dialectical thinking because the reality is that we are all human beings. Grab your neighbor's hands and sing. Not that we will overcome, but we are constantly overcoming. As long as our hearts are beating and our lungs are breathing, we can continue to live with purpose. We are humble servants to a greater good. So, Lord, will you please work us? We understand the generational tugs of war, but we have embedded in us a common theme. And that is my community is me. And cultivating that beloved place is what we all should be striving for. Here and forevermore, each of us is the key to opening the doors of reconciliation, redemption, and prosperity. Allow our patience to pace us as we sprint the many miles and marathons that write the message of peace and love. Peace and love. The cornerstones that provide us the guidance to walk together as kings and queens in the footsteps of Dr. King from the valley lows to the mountain highs and back to our communities. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low. This is the message we bring. The energy it takes to build and strengthen our communities will forever fuel our futures. Let us not dwell in the past and what we assume are shortcomings because we are still stronger than we can dream or imagine. Now just imagine if we dreamt together and turn that imagery into reality. It starts with me. A cultivation that not only brought a sense of solidarity to our neighborhood streets, but our communities as a whole. And I sincerely mean this in its entirety. So. I charge and challenge you to plant these seeds of hope into the hearts and minds of the young, the old, and the new. Because if there is any obstacles in front of us to halt us, we will barrel through. Take a look in the mirror and say, it starts with me. Step outside of your front door and rejoice. It starts with me. Look your neighbor in the eyes and sing. It starts with me. The cultivation of our beloved community.